Hello my lovelies and welcome back to the heart of my home. Marrows and squashes are in season over the fall and into the autumn and they are a wonderful vegetable to reintroduce moisture and hydration to the body when everything in nature seems to be drying up. Now I've got a sensational recipe for you which is combining the sweetness of the earthy marrow with the pungent spices of Indian Punjabi Vadi. Now these are lentils that have been dried in the heat of the summer, infused with spices for us to enjoy at this time of year with numerous health benefits. Let me show you how to create this tasty recipe. Now if you enjoy this recipe, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and do share with friends and family. Don't forget to leave your comments below and share with me how this recipe has tickled your taste buds. Now on with the recipe and the ingredients. The ingredients we're going to need to make this delicious, pungent marrow and burry casserole are homegrown marrow the season's finest. Now I've chopped this uh, into cubes and it's with the skin. Now the marrow itself, the skin and the seeds lends itself to its energetic cooling properties, which is great at resolving phlegm and mucus and damp conditions in the body, such as heaviness. Um, so, the diced marrow. I've also diced up some onions and this, these are, this is called burry and it's dried lentils that have been um, placed in the heat of the sun during the summer months with lashings of spice such as black pepper, cumin, fenugreek, turmeric, ginger, um, and I've crushed one of these. Now you can buy these from any continental stores and if it's the first time you're coming across Burry, you must check out, check out the Burry soup recipe, which is perfect at this time of year. The spices I'm going to be using are cumin, which you're probably all familiar with, turmeric, organic turmeric. I've got Himalayan salt and homemade garam masala. And if you like to know the recipe for the homemade garam masala, pop along to my other YouTube uh, video on how to do that. I'm gonna be using rice bran oil for this particular recipe, but you can also use ghee and butter. I've got some crushed garlic here, and I'm using tomato paste, but I often use fresh tomatoes as well. So let me show you how to combine these ingredients together. Okay. So garlic and the onions. Turmeric going in. Tomato. Going in. So the marrow has been cooking for about 20 minutes, the flesh is tender and the skin is slightly softer and that 
is ready. I'm going to add a little bit of homemade masala to it and plate it. Barley here, it's the grain for the season. Wonderful. Here we go. Welcome back viewers. And here I am, Todd the Taste Test, and Gia's cooked up an absolute sensation here. We've got the marrow and the buddy. Now, you might recognize the buddy from the previous soup that G did called the buddy soup. You can check out the recipe in the links below for that. Now, let's try the marrow. Now, I'll be honest with you viewers, I don't think I've had marrow in the autumn season, maybe ever. Looks similar to the cause yet and similar to aubergine, obviously different medicinal qualities, which G has explained. So I'm gonna give it a try here. I'm gonna get into marrow initially, serve with barley also. Oh, that is very tasty. Now I'm gonna go into the marrow with the barley and a bit of the spices as well to really get that full taste sensation. Oh, I'm loving how those combinations work together. They seamlessly interplay in my mouth. And you know what's great about this? It reduces phlegm, reduces coughing. So this is a fantastic recipe for you in the autumn season. Leave a comment below. Did you love this recipe as much as I do? And viewers, I'm gonna to have to leave you now because I've got half a bowl to finish. So I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye for now. Oh, that's lovely too, I love that. That really, the spices really there, really elevate the dish and really combine well with the marrow. Geez, I sound fancy now, don't I? Combining really well, I love that.